Good morning and happy Friday and welcome back to the NOFO Live Show where I, Sunita, along with my two co-hosts Tracy from Miss Tracy Kessler and Kelly from NOFO Endless Summer, we hop on every Friday and talk about everything North Fork. Um, this week on the North Fork is full-fledged fall. It is gorgeous. We had a little bit of rain yesterday but the sun is out and I think it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. Um, the grapes are ripe, the farms are ready to harvest. There is so much um, going on around here between spooky season, getting ready for holiday season. There's just a lot going on. Um, one of the events that I'm excited about is through Slow Food East End. We are doing, um, for lack of better, fermentation celebration, but it's also some version of a harvest festival um, because this year the event. Good morning, Tracy. Hi. How are you? Hi. Yay, Hi. it's good to see you. I, I didn't know if you were going to be hopping on or not, so I'm excited to see you. I know. I can't stay long because uh, we are here in New York City at the New York City Wine and Food Festival, so I'm missing you guys. I, you were just talking about harvest season. I always miss like the first half of it because I'm always here in the city, but. I'm excited to come home next week and be a part of all of the festivities. So wanted to hop on really quick. Well, hi, Tracy. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> hi, Lily. Right, right, curiously following your city journey. That's such a cool event that yes. you put on every year. I, I yes, just well, a golf cart. I just envy <laughs> you driving around in a golf cart all day. Like it's. And it's I know really Deirdre fun. Has a good story about a golf cart. If Deirdre wants to share her golf cart story later, <laughs> is it a share? Is it a shareable story? Because I took a picture yesterday on a tractor. It, it is. Cart, it is. I don't think I can share the story. <laughs> it it is. Deirdre it's, might it's, get arrested after if she shares her golf cart story, but you know, <laughs> it's a risk we're willing to take. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a really funny story. <laughs> Yes, we'll clue you in later, Tracy, but I've been really enjoying your um, golf cart adventures. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And it's been so fun and special for me to have Tilly here with me, too. Everybody keeps asking Aww. me, what's the new boss's name? Uh, <laughs> so, it's I think been it's great so having her here. I think it's cute that you made a mini office in your office for her, like a little area. I think it's adorable. I love it. You know, the real reality of a working mom. Yeah. Yes, I've, I've been planning that office for a while, so it was fun to actually you, have it you... come together. <laughs> sort of <messed> up. <laughs> are, are you going to stick around, Tracy, or are you just doing a um, high and run? Well, I'll, I'll go on mute for a little bit until somebody calls me on the radio, and, and then I'll have to go, but I'll stick around for That's a little good. while. I'm interested to meet our guests for today. Sounds good. Sounds good. I just want to complete the sentence that I was telling everybody about Slow Food East End Festival um, next Saturday, the 22nd. Um, so it's a harvest festival where we are growing cabbage at a local farm, Jamesport Farmstead. And the festival will, in will involve each person being able to shred their own cabbage or shred the whole batch of cabbage, actually. And then the cabbage will ferment in a repurposed wine barrel for a couple of weeks. And then, in a, in, and then later, when it's done, you can come back and take your quart of sauerkraut home with you. I mean, how exciting is that? I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yum. That's Who knew this would be my new life? <laughs> <laughs> Fermenting. Just... Fermenting. No. <laughs> It suits you so well, Sunita. It seems like it was always meant to be your life. I do feel like I found my way home. That is how I feel about the North Fork. I mean, everything about it. Yesterday, I was walking through the vineyards, um, you know, looking at the harvest season. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Look at that. Yeah, look at her on the show. <laughs> I, br I brought a South Holder with me, so I felt so close to home. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. But anybody that's watching the show, I apologize. We have way too much fun on the show for ourselves. <laughs> it just goes off the rails sometimes. Yes. That's yes. all. Yes. Which, is, which is the best part about the impromptu live. So anyway, let's circle back to our guest because we have so little time and we want to hear so much about what you do. Sounds good. Thanks for having me today. Uh, finally, got to meet Miss Kelly earlier this year. It was actually at the uh, Land and Sea Gala where the golf cart incident <laughs> happened. <laughs> um, right. But yeah, that, 
that was uh, that was quite funny. So my name is Deirdre Blake, and I own a company called LuxuryDayCharters.com, 11 years now. And um, we also have a boat that we run and manage called Yacht Kingfisher here on the North Fork. Um, second season in Greenport, and we do, you know, cocktail cruises, um, wine and cheese, anything like that, and down in Florida in the winter. Uh, but I, I expanded my business uh, to Newport, Rhode Island, actually, about 10 years ago. And then about ooh, six years into that, I just really started doing a lot more business um, over here um, on Long Island. I actually lived out here 20 some years ago before I moved into the city and then before I moved south. Um, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's been fun coming back, you know, as a business owner um, and, and really getting to know a lot of people in that aspect of, um, of being out here. That's awesome. So you said you have two different, is it two different businesses? Is it multiple boats? Is it the boat you're talking about, the Kingfisher or boat, yacht? I'm not sure what I should call it. Sure, sure. Two two different businesses, yes. LuxuryDayCharters.com, uh, where I'm actually a broker, and I manage over 30 yachts for charter. Started out basically focusing on day charters, but, you know, that quickly turned to people wanting a weekend, a week, um, you know, a month. Actually, I did a month, uh, 2020, a couple out of Sag Harbor. I've a yacht for a month, guys. Sure. Uh, you think that's good for yacht life? The dog. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag goals. Hashtag, goals. hashtag life goals. <laughs> yeah yeah that was you know that was right at the beginning of the pandemic so you know people just they just wanted to kind of get out and be on the water and do their own thing which you know speaking of in the beginning that was a little hectic the marinas were closed in florida they wouldn't let boats leave and then wow. lo and behold everybody said let's get out let's be on the water so kind of turned turned its head upside down a little bit so that was good but um yeah i mean the boats that i manage anywhere from you know Florida, South Florida, um, Bahamas, up here, you know, in the summer, obviously the boats follow the warm weather. So I started following my clients <laughs> and expanding up here in the summertime. So Deirdre, tell us more about what you do in Greenport and um, mm -hmm. if people are viewing where they can find you, what you offer here, um, so we can get a little bit more of like a localized picture. Sure. Perfect. So um, Kingfisher 1959 vintage Huckins uh, motor yacht and her th this is her third season up here. Um, the first year we were in East Hampton and then last year we, we pretty much kind of got the last slip uh, out here in Greenport because, you know, so many people bought boats. There's limited slips, limited marinas. So but it's been great because the cruising over here is amazing. I mean, around, you know, Shelter Island, Peconic, what have you. There's so many little like nooks and crannies to be able to discover and take guests to. Um, so that's great over by, you know, Orient Beach. You can anchor and swim over there and just Robbins Island and a lot of uh, a lot of really cool places for sure. Um, so that's been fun. And we partnered with um, Anchor and Alpina, the restaurant group, and have done catering with them. Um, Alpina is probably my favorite restaurant out here, if, if anybody has not been. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. They do a great job. And um, yeah, just kind of getting, you know, getting to know the North Fork a little bit and explore uh, all that she has to offer has been fun too. Yeah. How do people fit on the yacht Kingfisher. So the Coast Guard legal limit is 12, um, standard 12. Um, some boats are, are smaller based on, you know, their size and their weight and, and their, um, uh, it's a, it's a certificate. So issue. So yeah, 12 is the general number. Um, unless, you know, a boat has been certified for more, which are the group dinner cruise boats. You find those in, in New York and down South. But, you know, three hour minimum cocktail cruise, um, you know, if somebody wants to do two, we would we would offer that as well. Um, so here for a few more weeks as well, if anybody's interested, the weather's still pretty good, you know, I mean, it's been a little colder in a couple of days, but overall, it's been really nice. So that's good. And this is, you know, September and October are great, great months up here, as, as I think we all know. So. For sure. so I don't I don't live the boat life. So. Tell me what I would experience if I booked a three hour cruise. How does it work? Hey, what is it like, mine? <laughs> I was like, I've never been on a yacht. I need to know, like, the play-by-play. Play. Okay. Yes. I'm like, I'm I know. We've been trying to get you, so we, we, we have to get you there before uh, before we leave, for sure. Um, and, you know, we might do a little cocktail hour at the dock, at least. So, um, you know, if anybody's interested, definitely DM. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> we'll get, get a little list going. Um, yeah, but basically, yacht charters are 
fully customized. That's kind of the beauty of it. Um, you know, you decide where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to eat, drink. Um, you know, if you if somebody wants to bring their own food and alcohol, that's fine. We like that. We don't really sell alcohol for liability reasons. Um, you know, we can put you in touch with the caterer. Um, but you just tell us if you want to, if you, if you want to swim or if you just want to cruise around and cocktail or see the sights. You know, a lot of times um, realtors will also book the boat to show clients by the water, uh, homes by the water. So that's good. You know, we take people to Hashtag dirty life goals. Can a realtor <laughs> need to show me houses on the water? Like this is literal life goals right here. Okay. Continue, yeah. Just dreaming over here. No, listen, <laughs> we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Uh, but but a lot of times people, surrounded. I'm sorry. We're surrounded by water everywhere around here. So, I mean, it exactly. just makes perfect sense that that would be part of, you know, everybody's life, no matter what size of the boat, whether you're standing on a paddle board, right? Going out, right. Or right. all the stuff, just sitting on a beautiful yacht that you have and, you know, enjoying. I'm thinking a sunset cruise. Sign me up for that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's do it. She's a sunset lady, so she needs a sunset <laughs> cruise for sure. I like it. I like it. Definitely sunset, not sunrise. I saw that in the. Uh... <laughs> oh, sure. I mean, if, if you're a sunrise person, sure. I'm. I'm sure the fishermen go out very early in the morning. And catch yeah. Them. No, my my boyfriend's uh, definitely sunrise. He'll come back with the pictures of the sunrise. I'm like, okay, I'll look at sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, what is the typical season here on the North Fork? Um, Bye, Tracy. I see her message. Yes. <laughs> what is the typical off. here? Like, when do you start um, offering the charters? And you said you're um, ending in a couple of weeks? Yes, yes. Usually, you know, depending on the weather, but it's usually Memorial Day to Labor Day. But then, you know, Labor Day definitely extends, obviously. I mean, here we are, you know, a few, what, six weeks later. Um, so that's nice. But that's a typical summer season. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, so then and where do you go next? Bahamas, Florida, Florida, back to Florida. We live in Florida. I uh, have a condo down there, Pompano Beach. And then um, the boat will be based in uh, Palm Beach, North Palm Beach specifically. But we do a lot of work with um, the breakers and the different hotels down there and, you know, some private repeat clients. Um, Kingfisher also offers a membership, which is becoming more and more popular these days. So hours of access, similar to a jet cart, right? So 30 hours. Hours, 60 hours and that's in three hour minimum cruise blocks so 30 hours would get you 10 cruises um 60 would be 20. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so, we're talking life another goal. i need to have a yacht membership <laughs> i don't know you just mentioned a jet membership me that as well yeah <laughs> like, yeah i was thinking so many people you know do go in winter to florida and here mm -hmm. your boat is going to florida so i'm thinking maybe somebody can hitchhike you know, and be like, on the boat, <laughs> making their way to Florida for the season. Love it. Yeah, nobody needs what to drive. Kind of, what kind of journey is that from here to Florida? Is that? Uh, it, it's, it's a journey. So <laughs> what's, what's funny is that this boat actually goes on a truck. Mm. Ah, okay. Yes. So uh, that's a three-day journey as opposed to we did uh, take her home on her own bottom uh, after the first season up here um, three years ago. And that's about a three-week three, three -week trip, you know, because wow. you have weather, you could have a mechanical issue, you know, you just, it's kind of the unknown. You really don't know. So. Mm -hmm. And plus yeah. being a vintage boat, do you worry about like wear and tear and that kind of thing? And that kind of always, of yeah, always. She's in great running condition though. The previous uh, owner put a lot of money into her. Um, so before we took it over and then we've made, you know, changes as, as we go and, you know, you've replaced parts like a car. Right. So, um, but yeah, so she's running great, which is good. <laughs> and if people want to like view your, your, boats and see like everything you have to offer what what's the best place to find you instagram your website both sure uh website luxurydaycharters.com and then for kingfisher is yacht kingfisher y-a-c-h-t yacht kingfisher also on instagram um eric does the instagram he does a great job at that luxury day charters instagram was hacked i just got it back recently oh, so no. That's amazing. Yes, hacked since last November, actually. So don't answer those questions when you think your friend is saying, hey, can you send me that code? <laughs> yeah. 
it's becoming. I really not- thought I really thought I was smarter than that, but that one got me sadly. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I know it's becoming more popular. I'm seeing a lot of duplicate accounts on Instagram, mm-hmm. you know, especially mm-hmm. people I know or that you know that even have the blue check mark against them, and then they are trying to you know make other accounts. So you really do have to keep your eyes peeled. Um, For sure. It's so easy to sort of accept that friend request when you think you know the yeah. person. Right, yeah. and yachts are eye candy. I mean, so you know, Instagram's important. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of speaking of eye candy, I guess the, the other question I wanted to ask is: a lot of times I'm wandering in Greenport on the marina next to um, Claudio's, and there's these beautiful boats parked there, and I <laughs> them are for rental. So now I'm starting to wonder if you park is the word park um, dock and <laughs> you have your boats there to be. Dock. There are several um, that sometimes sit there. So what's funny is the uh, the new owners of Claudio's are actually my client, and they had a gorgeous uh, 74 foot Sunseeker that we were chartering, but they sold it a few months ago. It didn't come up this summer, but uh, stayed in Miami. But they sold it a few months ago, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, but some of those are for for charter, yes. So you know they'll come dock for lunch and then leave. But um, yeah, that's that's also a great waterfront option to be able to take guests to for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean it's drooling and watching the beautiful yacht i always wonder what life is like on a week and you're talking about a month on a yacht i can't even imagine that <laughs> you have a private chef you know you have somebody cooking for you again you know it's it's all your based on your decisions you know what you want to eat that day where you want to go so so what would you say is the most popular thing people request from the North Fork area like a, a sunset cruise or a you know what do you get the most requests for it's definitely been sunset cruises. Um, I mean, the sunsets have been amazing this summer. Um, also, a lunch cruise to Duryea's. We also, you know, pick up on Shelter Island. Uh, also, even in, in Sag Harbor, if somebody wants. So, cruising around there. Um, a lunch, I'm trying to think. Um, you know, circling, circling Shelter, going ar- around the Peconic. Um, you know, there's a few other places we've docked at. Um, I believe it's, is it Allure? restaurant am i saying that right yeah, Allure. yeah. So we've docked there before that was fun um we haven't been all the way up to riverhead it gets really shallow up there we we wanted to go up there but it gets really shallow i'm trying to think where else along um Duryea's, of course you know that's been popular um clients going in there for lunch so yeah so fun cruising yeah. around the, the lighthouse you know showing people that so we've, we've talked a lot about the glamorous side of yachting tell us a little bit about the not so glamorous behind <laughs> yachting stuff i want like maybe like a rude customer story or like somebody falls in in the middle of a cruise give us like those stories I <laughs> So believe it or not like most people are super 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 nice you know okay, and good. Which is great. Like they're, ha- they're happy to be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, what's that? Sorry. Bravo TV, like, um, what is that show <laughs> called? Under the Deck? deck? Below Deck. Below Deck. Below deck. Below deck. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. They, they call me. They call me for clients. And oh. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Most of my clients are like, I don't want to no. know. And, you know, some of my... <laughs> whatever, you know, I have all different kinds of clients. I mean, when I started my business, you know, it just kind of grew word of mouth, but you know, to the point now where repeat clients are, you know, football team owners, um, athletes, you know, some celebrities, I mean, CEOs, you know, business owners, families, you know, obviously people that just really en- enjoy that, but oh goodness. Um, probably, you know, I mean, Boats break down, right? So that's that's one issue, and that's something that's out of your control. And sometimes it ha- it happens out of the blue, like I you mean, don't know. Being lost at sea on a yacht does not sound the worst thing. Being <laughs> lost at sea? Yeah, like a little like breakdown. Oh my cruise! Yeah, I gotta stand on yeah. the day. Sorry. <laughs> I did. I did have, it was a few years ago and um, I did have one client that was going out for a few days out of Newport, Rhode Island. And um, I mean, first time, you know, first time chartering, his first time chartering, first time client for me. And he was literally like, you know, the CFO at a big, you know, television company. Um, I used to work in television as well. I'm like, this is exciting. This is great. I'm happy to, you know, share this, have him share this, you know, experience with him, make it happen for him. And the first boat, you know, that was coming up 
the owner changed his mind. I mean, this doesn't happen a lot, trust me, but probably this is probably the only time I think <clears throat> in 11 years, the owner changed his mind. Mm. Annoying. And, you know, miscommunication, which whatever, between the captain and him, that wasn't good. So I found him a second boat. Great. He's like happy. Okay, good. And he was never really upset, which is good. The third boat, or second boat, you know, was on its way up, broke down. Oh, no. So then I had to call him again and say, oh my gosh, <laughs> not only did this happen once, now the second boat literally is not able to make it. And when, when I, you know, I sent that note and I got the message back and I showed my boy, I go, you read it? I can't even read it. What did you say? And it was like, F this, F that. I was just like, oh my God. You know what I mean? But those are things that are out of your control. Yeah. And I felt so bad. Yeah. He's still on my email list. I see that he opens my emails, <laughs> but you know, he has a book to go. Yes, he's kind of a book. You, so but still on another note. Um, actually had a great repeat experience this year with a boat, um, boat that was based over here. It was great. Um, and I can say her name because, you know, she posted and tagged my company, Molly Sims. We had her out and her family and they had such a blast and she, you know, posted and tagged all day long, which was great. And then she came back two weeks later. So that was great. I mean, yeah. So, you know, you have those repeats that really love the experience love what happens out on the water, all the toys, you know, so that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That was a good time. We are watching, it seems like there's a lot of um, a, a hardworking crew. It seems like there's a lot of maintenance on a boat all the time to keep right. it looking. You know, is it just to keep it looking or is it just to maintain the word? Or can you talk a little bit more about the life of the crew on the boat? Definitely all of the above because I was crew. <laughs> That's how I got into this industry. I was, you know, corporate career in, in uh, New York. You can check out my LinkedIn. And then um, was laid off from an internet company. 9-11 happened. And I said, you know, I think I'm going to go work on a yacht for a year and ride out the recession on the water. Um, knew someone uh, in the business and asked him, what do I do? He said, go walk the docks in Fort Lauderdale and, you know, meet people. And I went to boat shows and met people and Next thing you know, I'm working on a yacht and as a stewardess. So if you've seen below deck, you know, you're cleaning beds and, and make, sorry, making beds and cleaning heads. That's basically, you know, the job with a toothbrush. So that's kind of, you know, uh, the glamorous side of it. Uh, but basically you're keeping something that's nice and clean, usually clean. So, right. Um, and then I got bored doing that. I taught myself how to cook. So was, next thing I know, I was chefing on yachts, not super high end trained by any means. And, you know, this was started my company in 2011 and I still cooked about three years and freelanced into that. So, um, but yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. I mean, you see on below deck, it's a lot of work, you know, and it's funny because in the beginning, uh, our industry was not, a lot of people in the industry were not happy that the show came out because, oh, it's our secret little industry, you know, what have you. But, you know, the show has, has brought to, you know, and then they were nervous that a lot of new people were coming to the industry unexperienced just for the glamour side of it. But, you know, there's, there are crew agents, so it's their job to screen these people, you know, and figure out who's really in it for the right reasons and not. But um, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of, it's long hours, you know, and you're basically, it's funny because when the guests are not on board, you're just cleaning and maintaining and there's projects. I mean, it's nonstop, right? When the guests are on board, then, you know, you're on their schedule. So if they're staying up late partying, then somebody has to stay up late, you know, and, and keep that going. So, but it's, uh, it's rewarding. I you know, you have those fun days off. Out of this because it is so interesting mm -hmm. and it is so like, you know, glamorous and not so glamorous and it's, it's not crazy all, it's not all the good tv juice you know i literally was living in new york city working for espn and my youngest sister called me and she said i'm coming up to new york with my girlfriend whose cousin works on a on a yacht i'm like okay great she's like you got to come down and see us and they were there for a charter for mariah carey and tommy matola years ago as so i was at espn 98 99 so this was probably i think 99 and so I remember I, I walked down, I walked, went down to the boat. I went down to see them. I actually went down at lunchtime. And so I bought boss, I'm going to go see my sister. He's great, by the way. He actually lives on the South Fork also and chartered our boat a couple of years or two years ago. So that was fun. 
But uh, I said, I'm going to go, you know, say hi, whatever. Okay, no problem. And I remember I walked on the boat and I looked and there's crew. And I said, this is a job. Like you guys do this for a living. You know, I kept it in the back of my mind. So I grew up in hospitality, working in hospitality, kept it in the back of my mind. One thing led to another. My department with ESPN um, relocated, went to work for the internet marketing company, was laid off. That's when, you know, that happened. But literally, I was like, wow, you know, and, and it is, it's, 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 it's crazy. So wow. there's, um, there's the Fort Lauderdale boat show coming up, which is basically the largest in the world. That's, you know, uh, end of October, early November. And then the Miami show is in February. Palm beach show is so much fun. That's like the third week of March. That's like, you know, we call it the clean classy show. <laughs> so that, that's fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite insane. It's quite insane. And, and the technology on the some- it's 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 really it, it, you know until below deck i think it was it was an, a kind of an undiscovered you know industry as far as the public is concerned but the money it brings into florida is amazing we're I running really, out of time so i can't make you tell your um golf cart story so you're gonna have to save your arrest from the uh green Point there's there's no arrest there's <laughs> no arrest <laughs> I'll make it brief if you want. <laughs> if you want to hear this story? You were at the Land and Sea Gala, so I feel like you no, would be interested. We'll, we'll, we'll save you um, the arrest from Greenport Police checking on it because I do want to get to a rapid fire if you've had a chance to experience North Fork this summer. So yes. obviously, um, have you done a sunset cruise here? And if so, have you found a good location with your charter um, yacht that you caught one from? Yes, probably um, across from Sunset Beach. Ooh. Yeah, and that's if my boyfriend can tell you, like the exact little like spit of land that comes out, and then you can see it from there. It's amazing. We we haven't cruised on the north side of the North Fork because that's you know too much kind of out and around, and it could be a little too rough. We like the calm. It's you know you want to keep people in like nice calm uh, clean up, water. Clean on the bay side. Yes, not on the mm-hmm. south. Yes. So over um, there. Andrew, you mentioned that you work with Alpina and Anchor. If you were to take us to dinner, where would it be? And if it is one of those two, what's your favorite dish there? It would be Alpina and it would be the schnitzel. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. This is and a good have segue you into like the fall season because I really like Alpina during the fall. Like it feels mm-hmm. like, that, like cozy, like homey food and right. schnitzel is like such like a fall thing. So mm-hmm. that- a fall place to go. Sunita, have you been there? I have, but I think I've been there before this chef that's there now. And I'm not sure if this is the chef that was at Green Hill and then moved here, in which case I've eaten his schnitzel at Green Hill. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. George. Yeah, he's amazing. I mean, they have some cheese in there that you will only find, like Italian and Swiss cheese, you will only find in the States there. Yeah. They do a great job. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's a great little spot. I need to end up there. So now, do you, have you had a chance to get off the boat and wander the North Fork and stop at any farm stands? Or what has been your experience this summer so far? Yes. Yeah, so I usually make an errand run out to, um, I say civilization, <laughs> to Riverhead, like once a week, right? Because you have to go and get what you have to get. And uh, because the grocery store here closes at 7, that's very annoying. Anyway, so don't get me started. So does, the liquor, so does the liquor store, just FYI. <laughs> The liquor store is open till eight. The grocery store closes at seven. <laughs> I know. Try, try, I don't know. Try winter. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> so yeah. The, okay. Um, so I pass by the country farm stand, which I like a lot. Okay. And I know there's so many and I've tried to follow, you know, you Kelly and see like where to go, what to do. But usually I'm like, oh yeah, the farm stand, it's right there. So I pass by. That's great. Um, they sell this hamptons caesar dressing that has literally i could drink it out of the bottle <laughs> i'm not kidding it's so good interview has two locations so i i haven't seen that i'm gonna check that out for sure so good so good and are mm-hmm. you a vineyard or a brewery gal um i i like both don't get me wrong probably more of a brewery gal um the older i get the more wine i drink i get headaches quicker which is really annoying so to brewery 
I don't like Greenport. I like Greenport Brewery. Um, not the one that's like two blocks from our house. I mean, I like that too. Don't get me wrong, but the other one, you know, has the great food. So in the bands and stuff. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely like that. that. The one, I think they started the one in Greenport, which is obviously smaller, and then now they have the larger location. Yes, and I also love the fact that they have an actual kitchen and a restaurant, mm -hmm. and that's the options available. Um, yes. Which I, I, I understand there's some legal slash political, whatever the requirements are, but I wish that the vineyards would be allowed to offer more food options, because um, I, I, I would prefer that, but something to I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy enjoy the few that do have it and then there are some food trucks i know i know greenport um brewery has your own kitchen but there are some places that that bring food trucks in which is also great mm -hmm. yeah you got to feed people when they're drinking yes <laughs> all the more okay. 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 coming on deidre and giving us the thank you of the yachting life love it all i mean I, I, what I would say is one thing the show has done, um, the Bravo show, is it's really shown that, I mean, for anybody that was thinking that that's a glamorous, glamorous entry into the art life, it might be, but it's also a hardworking life. Um, so right. So all the behind the scenes that you guys do to make um, everybody's um, experience of the art, um, of the art mm -hmm. Yeah, thank, thank you. We also did film uh, really quick um, part of the show, uh, Summer House on Bravo. Uh, uh, they filmed that on our boat and then another boat. I chartered them an extra boat a uh, couple like Labor Day. So I don't know if that's out yet. That might be coming out. So, uh, yeah. So then you definitely have some stories you need to come back and give us. You know. <laughs> they were tame. They were tame. It was good. <laughs> good then. I, well, enjoy your slow season. I'm assuming the winter is a slow season unless you're going to be busy working in um, – Florida as well, and we will hopefully catch you back again um, next season. Sounds good. We'll get you ladies to the boat for a cocktail. That Thank sounds perfect. <laughs> Thank Thanks again. Have a great Thank day. you. Bye.